Well, a couple says they were walking down Northeast 23rd Street when they heard screaming. That's when they looked down into what was an eight foot hole and found a woman upside down with her feet in the air. A couple walking on Northwest 23rd Street says they heard someone yelling for help, so they flagged down a car coming toward them, a state game warden. I was flagged down by two um, individuals. As I put my sirens and my lights on, I jumped out of the truck. I think it's an awesome um, situation to be at the right place at the right time. Tim Campbell says he pulled over to help when he saw a shocking sight. I immediately bailed out and very Verified that there was an individual in a hole that was upside down, and I made contact with her. Immediately called 911. Campbell says he used his flashlight to look down the hole. That's when he could tell the woman was stuck. He says she was begging for help but struggling to find words. Once I immediately seen her, I, I started talking to her, and she was in distress and really, really weak sounding, and I know that she was in pain. It was a very awkward situation that she was in, wasn't able to turn or move at that point. So he did what he was trained to do, help. So I searched my truck to see if I could uh, uh, find a rope or something to, to assist and get the person out. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife, along with game warden stats in the metro, as well as the rural areas, were trained for situations like this. And when he didn't have the tools needed to save her, he turned to being a friend, telling her help was on the way. So I started talking to her, calming her down until uh, the fire department came to render aid. Her life saved by a couple on a walk and a man in the right place. And I was just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And that woman was taken to the hospital. The Midwest City Fire Department says that she was in stable condition. Now, as for why the hole was here in the first place, the city is still looking into that. Reporting live in Midwest City, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.